ghost town, uh, I guess so. Post office closed down about 100 years ago. The whole place has been abandoned since then. Well, the first folks here were the Burr Fiends. They built a cabin on the beach about 150 years ago. And of course, the storm wiped out and they thought it might be best to move up onto the rise. Uh, a man named a Kelder House built a dock to supply steamships passing through the uh, passage with uh, cordwood. And the first ship to stop was called the SS Oneida. And that, that's how the town came to be called Port Oneida. All the buildings and so forth what made up the actual town, they tore them down in the 40s. Uh, what's left is just a bunch of old farms and a schoolhouse and a cemetery up there. Around 19 and 10 or so, uh, one of the uh, Kelder House boys uh, by the name of uh, Minor Kelder House, had, had, uh, he hung himself from a beam in the barn. Uh, sometime in, uh, right around the end of the First War, uh, 1917, there's a ship called uh, the Rising Sun that it, uh, it, uh, it sank just offshore about a hundred yards or so out. It's, it's still out there. And, uh, it's a big supply ship owned by uh, the House of David. And uh, that group was, was back in those days, it, it really caused quite a stir. They, the leader called himself uh, King David and, and uh, the menfolk weren't, weren't allowed to shave. So they had these real long uh, flowing beards. Other than, other than that, there's not much special around here. It's just the same as everywhere else, I suppose. There must be a thousand of these places, small towns and such. Why, why are you so interested in, in Port Oneida?